problem between the dream life and you is that you are not working on the habits and doing the things every day to get you to where it is that you want to be act as if you already have that life be delusional how bad do you want whatever it is that you dream of Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pamela and today we're gonna to be talking all about how to enter your rich girl era. Now, you don't have to be a certain age. You can literally be in your teens, you can be in your 20s, whatever it is and whatever era you are in, we are going to be talking about all the tips to reset your mindset, how to increase your income streams, tips for saving, investing, and more. As a 22 year old that has many different income streams, I wanna share with you guys all the tips that have really helped me embrace this mindset and just things that have personally helped me change my relationship and my mindset when it comes with money. I didn't grow up with money. I come from a middle class family and I am really grateful for everything that my parents have given me. But now that I am 22 and I'm graduated from college, the ball is in my court to decide where my career is going to go, where I'm going to be making money to sustain myself for when I eventually move out, have my own life, have my own family, etc. And my mind mindset with money has completely changed. My relationship with it really has improved and advanced. And even though I'm only 22, I feel like I've learned so much. And I know a few tips and pieces of advice that I think would be really helpful for anybody, no matter what age you are. So let's get started. Number one is mindset. This is the most important thing that you probably will get out of this video, because if you don't have a good relationship with money, or if you're not thinking about it in a positive way, you just constantly are stressed and you're always like, I need to make more money. I need to be able to afford this whatever it is you are probably going to struggle when it comes to finding new opportunities to make money or just you're gonna ruin your relationship with it overall like I said before I grew up middle class my parents did everything they could to give us all the things that we wanted I still somehow grew up with like a really expensive like mindset like I always have wanted really nice expensive things even though like there was no way in the world my parents would ever buy me those kinds of things I always knew it was gonna be up to me when I got older to get a really good job find a way to make a lot of money and buy all these little fun things for myself because if you guys didn't know I really like purses I love to buy purses it's kind of like my thing some people collect watches some people collect trading cards for me it is purses I love that and ever since a young age I've always loved that it's kind of just that like really girly girl side of me whatever you want to call it but I love purses and for me like I said ever since I was younger when I would watch those videos on YouTube like what's in my bag and purse unboxings all that kind of stuff I always dreamed of being able one day to be in my 20s and buy whatever bag it is that I want and so what I would do when I was younger is I would watch these videos I would watch these what's in my bag videos and all these things of like the one year review of you know how my bag has been holding up whatever it is like that was my hyper fixation when I was in like middle school and high school and the reason why I'm saying you need to change your mindset with money is because I never thought that I would be in a position right now where I could just go and like buy all these bags that I want after saving up for a long time I never thought that, that would be my life I knew that as I got older like I needed to rewire my mindset and I needed to think like I can't always be either you know a around people that are constantly thinking I'm broke I'm broke or around people that are always like just having negative mindsets about money because I know so many people growing up whether it's family or friends that are always just saying how much they need to be making more they need to be working more hours they need to be working just all these different kinds of things and for me like I said it's really an energy and it sounds crazy to think about it that way but it is so true like if you are constantly stressed and you're constantly just thinking I need to make more I need to do more I need to really just like level up and blah blah like overdoing it is not good either like I said it's an energy you really have to rewire the way that you think and just be positive be open to any opportunities that may come and don't be afraid to try something new like I never thought that I would be a content creator that's my main form of income that's my main stream is partnership and brand deals and affiliate marketing like all those kinds of things and then I also have my regular day job where I work with a skincare brand and then I have all my other side streams of income however I always knew from the beginning like I'm not going to be stressed I'm going to do my thing I'm going to post my videos I'm going to continue working every day I'm going to show up for myself every day and I want these opportunities to happen I'm obviously still going to keep working hard you're not just going to dream every day and write in your journal you know I want this bag or I want this house you still need to obviously keep working but be open to opportunities don't be negative and this can apply with anything in life what 
whatever it is that you want whether it is a new bag or maybe you want to move out and you want a new apartment i see so many videos on tiktok all the time of people saying that they'll drive through really nice luxury neighborhoods and they'll look at the houses and think you know this is like a house that i want in the future or you can go shopping not actually buy anything but you can go through different designer stores and think you know one day i'm going to have this that really is a form of manifestation and i'm telling you like it can happen in so many different ways but you really just need to change your mindset and it can also be the people that are around you if you are around people that are constantly complaining about money they're always saying that they need to be making more and overall it's just negative when it comes to it that is someone that you just should not be around because you want to be around someone that is going to uplift you that is positive about a lot of different things in life and isn't always complaining or is stressed about those kinds of things number two is saving and investing properly when it comes to spending and budgeting and all that kind of stuff i know it sounds really boring but there are so many people on tiktok specifically like financial creators that have really encouraged me to look more at my weekly and monthly spending and it has been so helpful because i am someone that used to love buying out coffee all of the time i loved dunkin donuts and i was kind of convincing myself that my coffee at home is never going to taste the same as how it is when i buy it which is obviously always going to be true like it's really hard to remake the coffee the same way they make it at the store i realized that it's really not ethical for me to continue buying this four dollar coffee that i'm just going to throw out right after with the plastic like i was like i need to just find a way to save this kind of money because my coffee addiction is not going away anytime soon and i was like i need to minimize the amount that i'm spending when i go out because i love to shop i love to buy things i realized that the main amount of money that was coming out of my account was literally just going towards food and drinks so i was like you know what i need to rewire the way that i am spending my money and that was literally just by tracking my spending so i'm making sure now that every single week i am keeping track of where my money is going how much i'm spending like when it's time to pay for my subscription subscriptions and all of that stuff when it comes out of my card i know okay this day all these subscriptions are coming out whatever it is just make sure you're keeping track of your spending and all these different habits and this really helps with entering that rich girl era because if you know where your money is going and you know how much is coming in and out you're keeping track of things in a spreadsheet you are just going to be so organized with your money that you're going to be able to know what is going in what is coming out what you're spending on what you have to budget with it sounds scary like all the budgeting and adulting kind of things but i was able to make a really simple spreadsheet on google drive and when i made this i use this now to track all the money that i'm getting from brands the days that they pay me how much i'm getting paid what my monthly income is like i've been tracking and doing this for years now ever since i became a content creator and it has been one of the most useful things that i could have ever done it's truly saved my life financially it's also really important to have an emergency fund and you can either have this in a regular savings account or you can open a high yield savings account i personally have multiple savings account within a high yield and that is with marcus by goldman sachs this is not an ad at all but i've been using marcus by goldman sachs for the past year now it has been an amazing experience and you get four to five five sometimes even six percent interest i'm not sure what the exact amount is right now but you can earn more than four percent interest back on your money for just sitting in a savings account and i'll give you guys an example chase is my primary bank i absolutely love chase and that is where i've had all of my savings accounts for the last few years now however when i realized that these savings accounts given by your bank only give you 0.1 percent back in interest which is pennies a year i realized that i needed to completely move my money Money into different accounts and that's when i found out about marcus it is a high yield savings account which basically means that you are making more than just pennies a year from your money sitting in a savings account because when you see all your money in account in an account you're obviously not going to spend that full three thousand dollars or five thousand dollars whatever it is you're going to let it sit in your account and that's what it does for months for years but you can move that money into a high yield savings account for example like the marcus one and you can have your money sit in there and actually earn money while it is sitting there depending on how much you put in and how much you're making you do eventually have to pay taxes on that but i'm telling you it's so much better than just earning four or five cents the entire year so i have some emergency funds and regular savings accounts in marcus and then i have my business checking and my savings in my chase business account you can click the link in my description this is not an ad but if you do use my referral you get a few months of that really high percentage so i think it's definitely worth applying for and it's totally free there's no minimum amount that you need when it comes to putting into that account you can have as little as one dollar in there and you can still earn interest on that tip number three is put the work in and start creating more income streams for yourself
yourself. You need to be earning more than you are spending. It's really important to think of creative ways that you can really increase the amount of money that you're making every single month in different kinds of ways. There is also so many ways that you can create these new income streams. For example, content creation, affiliate marketing, online products, making your own business, Etsy storefronts, Amazon storefronts, babysitting, dog walking, whatever it is, there's literally so many ways to make extra income. You just have to be creative and willing to put in that extra work. For me, like I mentioned earlier in this video, I always knew that when I got to a certain age, things were going to be all on me. And I knew that as soon as I went to college and as soon as I signed that acceptance letter, all of that debt was going to be on me and under my name. When I want to buy a house in the future, that's going to be all on me. When I want to buy literally anything that is for me, I know that that is going to have to come out of my wallet and I'm going to have to work hard for every single penny. So when I was a senior in high school, I got to thinking and I was like, you know what? What can I do from a young age that I can build up for the next few years? And that's when I found out, you know, I could do some sort of online business. I was really into social media. So I decided to make a social media agency. Did that for a while, closed it down after a few months because it wasn't really working out, moved on to the next business. I had a blog. I started doing sponsored posts on there, moved into content creation, started working with brands and doing paid partnerships and brand deals. Then I realized just how much is under the content creation umbrella. There's affiliate marketing. You can have storefronts. You can have people buy through your links and you can make a small commission off of that. There's digital products. I used to have an Etsy storefront. I used to make resumes and media kit templates and all these kinds of things that you could buy and purchase and use for yourself. I've literally done so many different kinds of things and even YouTube, you can literally run ads on your videos and make money through AdSense. There's so many ways to get creative with how you wanna make money and it's really all about trying all these different things. For me, I never thought that I would be a content creator. Like you can ask anybody that went to high school or college with me or even middle school, like they definitely looked at me and were like, yeah, that girl is like the quietest, shyest girl ever. She is not going to be an influencer. And for some reason I did, I ended up being a content creator and it was one of the best decisions that I ever made. I've always had that creative little bug within me. I've always loved videos and just getting creative, being hands-on and visual. All of those things that I enjoyed doing when I was younger really translated into now all the things that I do today. If I would have never sat down and ordered that tripod from Amazon or saved up and bought the camera or even posted that first video, I would not be where I am today. So I'm telling you guys, you have to really just get out of your comfort zone and try new things. Maybe you're more of a hands-on person and you're kind of like me, you're a little bit more creative, you want to do videos. Maybe you want to be more on the back end and help people run their accounts. There's so much possibility and especially with this generation, there's so many ways that you can really make that extra income and that can be for whatever it is that you want to use. Maybe you also want to pay off your school. Maybe you want to buy a house. There is really just so many endless possibilities that you can do. It's all about trying. Next is be specific with your goals. This has a lot to do with vision boards and goals for the year, manifesting, all of that kind of stuff. You need to be specific about what it is that you want for yourself. My sister and I were talking about this the other day and we were just thinking that life is so short, but there's so many endless possibilities of things that we can do. If you don't have goals for yourself, whether it is monthly or yearly or these plans that you create for yourself, then you really are kind of working towards not really anything. And I know it sounds like a little bit sad, but it is true. You should always be working towards something, always have something that is in the back of your mind that you're like, this is what I am working towards. And it can be a million things or it can just be a few tiny things. For me, I like to break down my goals into a few different categories. So obviously I have my social media goals, which include maybe how much money I want to make, brands that I want to work with, my dream companies, maybe I want to hit a certain follower count. Next is my health, wellness, and personal like mental health goals. Maybe I want to incorporate more meditations and yoga into my everyday life. Maybe I want to journal and read more. The third one is obviously finances, hitting a certain amount of money, saving a certain amount, investing a certain amount. Finances and money is really, really important to me. And lastly is my businesses. I really want to make sure that I'm hitting all of my goals with my businesses. And that is an entire category in itself. There's so many things that I want to do, that I want to create, things that I want to reach and be able to make happen. There's all these different kinds of things that you can do. It's all about creating those buckets for yourself and saying, okay, these are the four most important things. These are the five most important things in my life, whatever amount it is. And write down little bullet points underneath each category of what matters to you and what your goals are. I do this every single year. I've been doing this for the past four or five years now, ever since I was like in college slash high school. I've always, always, always had goals and things that I've always wanted. I have dreams and I have so many things that I want to accomplish. And it's really important for me to keep track every single year of if I'm making these things happen. This is where vision boards and pictures and just visualization really comes into play. Every single night I journal about my day, but I also journal about my dreams and things that I want to accomplish no matter what it is. I also am really big, like I said, on 
on Pinterest and saving photos. I have my vision board as my wallpaper. I want to print it out and put it in my room. I'm really big on quotes and I have an entire notes folder in the notes app on my phone of quotes that I hear every now and then from entrepreneurs and in interviews. I have all of these things that I reflect and look back to because I know one day when I do accomplish those things, I'm going to be able to check it off and I'm going to be able to look and think, wow, like I actually did this. It may even take years for one goal to happen, but it is possible. So be specific. Do you want to make a certain amount of money? Write that down. Do you want to hit a certain follower count? Write that down. Do you want to work with a specific luxury brand or a beauty brand? Write that down. Do you want to move into a specific city? Do you want to be able to clear a certain amount of debt? Do you want to go to a certain college? Whatever it is, be specific about it and work towards that. Lastly, we are on the final tip, which is just as important as number one. Act as if you are already in this life and be delusional. Being delusional will get you so far in life. Be cringy, be embarrassing, literally do whatever it is that is going to get you to where you need to be. There are so many old videos that I posted on TikTok and YouTube that I'm so embarrassed about. Doing that and being cringe and just getting that out there has been one of the best things ever because it may be cringe to some people, but to other people, they they may look at that and think wow like this girl is actually doing something like when i post videos of myself to those motivational sounds i'm actually like dude like i'm living my dream life i'm living the version of the life that i dreamed of having when i was younger and it can be in any kind of way and i'm still not done with all the things that i want to accomplish like i said i'm going to continue to have goals and dreams for myself every single year no matter what for as long as i live it's really important to just act as if you already have that life be delusional before i started working with all these brands and making extra income I always watch those kinds of videos on YouTube, you know, the what's in my purse before I even ever got my dream bag. I used to watch, you know, how to be a content creator before I became a content creator. I really educated myself on whatever it is that I wanted to do and then I immediately got to work. The biggest obstacle between the life that we want and what we're doing right now is ourselves and our habits and the things that we're doing every single day. Do you want to be the girl that wakes up every single day and, you know, has her journal and has her tea out and she goes out and she like is driving around in her g-wagon running errands in her little matching lululemon set like whatever it is like make sure that you are just breaking that disconnect and you are bridging that gap between you and your goals because the problem between the dream life and you is that you are not working on the habits and doing the things every day to get you to where it is that you want to be you're still waking up late you're still overspending on coffees you're not looking into financial things that you can do to improve your finances if you are not getting the things that you want you don't want it bad enough and you need to continue Continue to work hard and do that and when I realized that I was like holy crap like I need to work 10 times harder obviously don't hit burnout don't hit the point where you literally don't want to do anything but think to yourself like how bad do you want your dreams how bad do you want your goals how bad do you want whatever it is that you dream of whatever that first thing is that you think of in the morning do you want that bad enough work towards that and make it happen that is all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching i really hope that this was useful this was helpful i feel like we got a little bit deep towards the end but if you guys ever have any questions you can always let me know on instagram dm me whatever it is i love you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye